Sam Esposito is the man responsible for bringing NC State into the modern era of college baseball. In his 21 years as the Wolfpack's head coach, Esposito won a then program record 513 games. He coached 69 All-ACC players, seven All-Americans, and 12 future major leaguers. His teams won four ACC championships. Esposito himself was a three-sport superstar at Chicago's Finger High School. As a senior, he was the Chicago Metro Player of the Year in football, basketball, and baseball. He wound up at Indiana University on a basketball scholarship. Upon his discharge from the service in 1954, Esposito embarked full-time on his professional baseball career. He played 10 years in the big leagues as a utility infielder, almost all of it with his hometown Chicago White Sox. In 1965, he met Norman Sloan. Turns out that Vic Sorrell had just retired as Wolfpack baseball coach and Sloan needed an assistant basketball coach. Esposito was a perfect fit. Esposito turned the program around almost immediately. After guiding the pack to an 11-11 mark his first year, his second team went 25-9, won the ACC championship, and finished third in the 1968 College World Series. He guided the Wolf Pack to the first three ACC tournament championships in 1973, 74, and 75. Esposito worked basketball and baseball for the Wolf Pack for 12 years, helping Sloan establish NC State as a national powerhouse in hoops. I want to congratulate Coach Esposito on his induction into the NC State Hall of Fame. I knew when I was 10 years old I wanted to be a part of Coach Esposito's program at North Carolina State when he took his team to the College World Series. Eight years later I had the great fortune of getting a call from Coach Esposito to join the Wolfpack baseball team and I ended up staying for 20 consecutive years. I ended up joining his coaching staff after my undergraduate years and then a few short years later he named me head baseball coach. He wasn't the athletic director, but he named me head coach anyway, and I had the good fortune of staying there for nine years. But the impression, the influence, the guidance that Coach Esposito gave me, gave me an opportunity to be in this business today. I'm forever indebted to the impression that Coach Esposito had on my life. Go Wolfpack. Over the course of Esposito's tenure at NC State, other coaches routinely sought him out for counsel, wisdom, and advice. Sam's office uh, back in the day was a lot like Cheers. Everyone came in and everyone knew each other's name, but more importantly, everyone came in there for Sam's advice. One of the great stories about Sam was uh, when he was also the assistant basketball coach, he uh, was faced with the dilemma of needing to be at the baseball game the day that NC State was going to play Marquette for the national championship in Greensboro and Norm didn't think he'd be there, and Sam said, don't worry, he'd be there. Truth to tell that he had told his wife, Noreen, uh, be in the parking lot at a certain time. What Sam did was tell the umpire, third inning, he wanted to be thrown out. Third inning came, he said, hey, ump, let's go, it's third inning. So Sam cursed him out, and the umpire looked at him. He goes, you're out of here. And Sam goes, thank you very much, took his bags and went out to the parking lot and went to the national championship game. On any given morning in the 1980s, a visitor to Esposito's office was apt to encounter any number of Wolfpack head coaches and staff members. The camaraderie was obvious, but so was the respect that everyone had for Esposito. Today, Esposito is retired and lives in the North Carolina mountains near Boone, where his daughter, Tony, is a registered nurse. His son, Sammy Jr., is an assistant baseball coach at the University of South Carolina. It was quite an honor, to say the least, to get this honor and to be inducted in the Hall of Fame at NC State.